I'm Jeremy Cranier. I'm a French general practitioner from the south of France, PhD student, and I will talk with you about sexual violence suffered in house country among asylum seeking women. How to prevent, how to protect these women. Why we have to talk about that? We have to talk about that because more than 40% of them were victims of female gen gen genital mutilation prior to arrival. That's what we find in a study we published in September 2023 in the Lancet Regional Health Europe and reprint by, by a famous French newspaper, Le Monde. Our main result is that almost 5% of them were victims of rape in their house country in France. Th this is 18 times, 18 times more than the general population. But despite, despite this overexposition, less than one in 10 consult a physician, a medical doctor when the violence occurred. So we have to adapt our practice to provide appropriate care for them. So how to protect this violence from this violence? First, we have to, provi to provide housing stabilization, to provide saf safety. To fight against sex trafficking, human trafficking, we have to provide housing stabilization because we, because we find a significant association between sexual assault and lack of housing stabilization. But in our study, 27% of them were lack of housing. So we have to reach out to them. We have to find them where they live, where they stay to provide care and not to wait they come in our healthcare center. That's what we do in Marseille. And you see a picture of our truck in a mobile healthcare unit. And that's what it works. That make it possible to break down trivialization. Because almost 70% of them were raped prior to arrival, they think it's usual to be raped. They think it's common to be victim of sexual violence. So we have to break this idea and to remind that we have to fight against and you have to provide appropriate care for the violence they suffered. We also have to break isolation because we find a significant association between isolation and sexual, sexual violence. The next step, it's to design ambulatory primary care protocol to screen and care this victim. That's what we do in Marseille. You see a picture of our ambulatory primary care center. And this protocol has to be multi-professional, involved caregivers, of course, but also social worker, psychologist, and community health worker using health mediation. Health mediation, because we have to take into account intercultural barrier, language barrier, and we use a professional interpreter. And we have to design participatory action. Participatory healthcare is what? Is when the women themselves are involved in their own care. For example, in our primary care center, some women lead therape therapeutic education group workshop. And we find in the qualitative analysis, analysis of the speech of this woman, that this positive experience of care, this concrete solution, lead to an evolution of perception that break the trivialization and they believe in a recovery prospect. So to finish, we have to provide housing stabilization, we have to reach out to this woman, we have to break down trivialization and isolation, we have to design ambulatory primary care um, using multiprofessional intercultural and participatory skills, and that leads to recovery prospect. But for that, we can't do that because without the involvement of the institution, the government, and the entire civil society. I think that's why we are here for today. That's why there is the Global Refugee Forum. And my friend, we have to success. We can success. We just have to want it. Thank you for your attention.